Aries, this is your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries for the month of December, okay? It's general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If I resonate with you and you would like a personal reading, you can hit me up at the link in the description box below. My readings are by donation, and a donation is absolutely required in order to um, receive or even schedule a personal reading, okay? Um, it's not going to resonate with everyone, okay? I, I feel like I have to repeat myself because people are not understanding. This will not resonate with everyone okay so um feel free to check out one of your other videos or check out another reader here on youtube there's only something like a million uh you know you don't have to stay here okay babies you don't have to stay here um what else i cuss okay i cuss so if that offends you if you're offended by language please click off of this video right now I talk about everything and that includes sex because sex is a part of life and a part of love. If that offends you, please click off right now. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. Mm, devil coming out, but in reverse. So if you're going to get the devil, you want it in the reverse position, okay? So somebody here so far, all we know is at least at the moment resisting temptation. Also could be dealing with a Capricorn. All right, Eight of Wands coming in reverse. So it's possible, Aries, that you've cut off communication with uh, somebody who was tempting you or cut off a situation or a, a place that was tempting you, okay? A place of temptation. Maybe um, have delayed a, a relocation or a travel of some sort. I feel like you started to understand something a little bit better, okay? Could possibly be um, in spirit because, you know, the King of Cups and Queen of Cups are very um, intuitive, more spiritual, empathic sort of cards. They're very intuitive. They're very in touch. Um, and you see he's got his eye on the stars there. So, Aries, <clears throat> Aries you may possibly uh, being guided by a higher power avoiding the devil in temptation okay cutting it off all right P the actual devil if you believe in such a thing or the energy of um or just people with that type of energy maybe um looking for a bit more understanding and uh divine guidance here aries All right, so you have the Page of Cups. You got new love coming? You got new love coming? Somebody Cupid out with his uh, arrow there from the heavens. Is that what you're looking for? Is that what you're looking for? Is that what you're waiting for, Aries? Hmm. Either a higher understanding Or a higher message. Higher focus. Two arrows are focus. But I feel like you're a baby in your journey overall, Aries. That's not a bad thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, that's not a, necessarily a bad thing. Just because you're a baby in your journey doesn't mean, you know, I'm a baby in my journey and I've been at this my whole life. You know, I would still consider myself a baby in my journey. Okay. Okay. King of Swords coming in the upright with the uh, Nine of Wands coming in the reverse. So we have someone here that's used uh, some logic here, okay, that's really starting to master this game of life, all right? Uh, somebody was, was tried, somebody tried to trap somebody and they, they dodged and weaved out of that shit. Someone here um, was really using their head, kept a cool head. I'm hearing for a number of you, kept a cool head in the situation. Stayed firm, all right, and dodged a trap. Somebody was trying to set a trap, okay, possibly. You know, the Four of Cups has to do with overindulgence in some area, drinking, drugs, sex, food, all of these things, but it also can deal with uh, boredom.
some of you may be trying to keep yourself busy and someone might have, might have tried to catch you in a trap revolving around some form of like mind-altering substance there king of pentacles in reverse coming over this devil in reverse let's see where that takes us before i speak on it please a chariot card for cancer if you follow me you know i don't like to get hung up on the signs but um so some of you may have avoided a, a, a situation that sort of um, maybe cost you a little money, okay? Some of you may have had to enter into a situation to avoid a temptation or maybe had to like sort of go up against a more sinister energy or situation that may have cost you some or set you back a bit, but I do see you going forward from that, okay? Okay. Somebody may have tried to present themselves as the King of Pentacles, which we know is a very stable energy. That's, you know, people people like to say that's the husband material right there. Um, and someone may have been trying to present themselves as this where you found out they were really, you know, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, Six of Wands coming in reverse over this King of Cups. Okay, so someone here fell. Someone here fell. Either, I'm getting this two ways. Someone was not getting the recognition that they deserved or at least believed that they deserved. Okay, not getting the appreciation that they needed or wanted, which is what may have caused them or nudged them to go and look for a higher divine power, a higher message. Okay, this may be why they're suddenly being divinely guided. And I do see in several areas here like literally making a cross um they are divinely guided okay so it could have been that fall from grace that caused this okay but also someone here that was trying to um sort of come uh, pretend or put on this show of something that they weren't may have had a fall in front of people, in front of public. Um, this could be a community, um, the workplace. It could be anything in front of people, anywhere you would have people. For, some of you know college, school, um, any type of place like that. Some secrets. There's some secrets, some things going on in the dark. Um, I feel like for a number of you, there's still like a cycle that needs to take place. I'm actually getting the number two, two cycles, two moon cycles. So two months or two menstrual cycles for some of you. Okay. Coming underneath this page of cups. Somebody's secrets may have come out in front of people. The temperance comes to restore balance and ask and calls for moderation and for you to pull back in an area if there was some overindulgence here in some way, some mind altering substance here, and that is coming under the King of Swords. So I feel like someone has really used their head and understands, hey, I need to either pull myself away from people um, that are misusing or abusing things, or I myself need to pull away from misusing and abusing and or abusing things. Okay, we're coming to restore balance. Coming to restore balance. All right, five of wands in reverse over the nine of wands in reverse. So not only did somebody, somebody tried hard to um, sort of ruffle someone's feathers here to get them caught up in something. I feel like somebody may have tried to get someone to sort of act out. But this person stood firm. Mm -mm, you're not going to get me to act the ass. I'm, I'm going to let you do all of that. I'm going to sit back here and I'm going to let you act the ass by yourself. Okay? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not here for it. Also, someone may have just completely avoided confrontation, which may have um, been a good thing. It looks like that may have been a good thing in this situation here. 
whatever this situation may be. Seven of Cups, underneath the Four of Cups. So it, there's a lot of options here, a lot of options, and someone stuck in a dream state or someone looking more towards the light is actually what I'm getting here under this Four of Cups in reverse. Someone may have had an, an abuse problem, a substance abuse problem um, that they have been battling, but I feel like they're doing really well, whoever this is, if this is you or someone that you're dealing with. Remember in these readings, the um, energies are reversible, but I feel like they're doing really well and it's not because they don't have out options. It's not because they don't have it around them. It's because they can see the light. It's because they choose to continue toward the light. Yeah, they're walking away from something. They're walking away from whoever this um, wolf in sheep's clothing is, whoever this bad, foul energy. Someone came presenting themselves as something that they were not. And I see uh, someone here walking away from that. Someone's still probably keeping tabs on you, okay? And it probably had to do with the relationship, all right? I feel like it's a broken relationship. Two people that were not compatible, okay? Two people that were not compatible. I feel like someone's still keeping tabs here. I feel like some person has tried very hard to cut off communication and move forward. But someone is some the other party is trying very hard to continue to keep tabs on them, spy on them, whatever that may mean to a number of you. And it did have to do with the relationship, a couple of some sort. This person fell. This person fell. Somebody like um I'm getting acted an ass in front of people, in front of the public eye, or at least where, you know, anybody that would matter to them would see. It's like if they tried to pretend to be something that they weren't, okay, and they like acted like they had it all together, it all came out in front of people that that shit is broken, it, it never was, and somebody here was really not right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, having to do with marriage for, for a number of you or a long-lasting relationship or some sense, some form of a traditional type of relationship. But I also see like someone here is starting to get some divine information, okay? Some information from the sky, from the heavens, okay? Some focus that may have um, presented them with their shadow side, here, okay? They may have to go into the darkness and face some things in order to sort of break down old belief systems and traditions. Some of those traditions may not be working out for you, Aries, you or someone that you're dealing with, okay? You may um, start realizing and recognizing that not all things that came to present themselves as light were good and that all things that happen in the dark are bad. Spirit is working on you, honey. Aries, you or someone that you're dealing with, okay? Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? So, yeah, someone I feel like did not get what they wanted here. Someone did not get what they wanted in this situation, in the relationship, in the marriage. Somebody tried to trip someone up over here, get them to fall again, or put something in their face to try to get them to sort of relapse is coming to mind. Um and, and someone didn't get what they wanted. Now, this could be uh, you or someone that you're dealing with actually um, not giving in to the temptation, wanting that drink, wanting that toke, wanting that, that line, wanting that, um, you know, whatever that thing is and not getting it, not taking it, going the other way. Also, card for Taurus coming out here. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, because there's new opportunities coming, because what happened, they didn't trip you up, they didn't trip you up, whoever this is that was trying to trap you or trip you, failed, they failed, and you have new opportunities being presented to you because of it, somebody did not get what they wanted, now, um, it's not completed yet, okay, it's not completed yet, uh, and that may be because someone here is still not trying to let it go. Okay. Um, 
it's somewhat, I feel like someone's like beating a dead horse. Like it could be over. It could be over if someone would just let it go, but maybe too much has happened where they're just having um, trouble letting sleeping dogs lie. I'm here. I'm hearing. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December. Let's see what else we can get out here for you. Okay. Five of Coins in reverse. Yeah, because even though someone maybe have had to leave someone or leave a situation behind, and like I said from the beginning, someone may have been involved in something or had to do something the way they took a financial hit. So this may actually be loss of coins or loss of someone. Whatever the situation is, I do see you coming up out of that. Okay. I do see you coming up out of that. Yep, with the nine of coins behind it. The nine of coins behind it because you have new opportunities coming. You have opportunity to um, get some of whatever you lost back. So if it was a lover, you have a new lover coming. Cupid up here playing with his bow and arrow. If it was a job that you lost, you have new opportunities, new job coming, new things being presented to you, new focus in that area, okay? If it was simply too much money spent somewhere, if you had to spend money somewhere to get out of something, I see you recovering from that. You know, having an opportunity to make your money back, all right? Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Someone may actually be dealing with prison here. This may be a self-imposed in prison. Just be careful. Understand that putting on the blindfold um, is not going to get you out of anything, okay? Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it didn't happen, all right? And the Page of Swords coming again in reverse. I'm telling you, so somebody, I, I, it feel, this is what it feels like right here. Somebody's ignoring the fuck out of somebody. Somebody is ignoring the hell out of somebody. I don't think it, I don't even think that it's, I don't think, she, I think that's like a metaphorical, metaphorical uh, blindfold. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's that she can't see the person spying on her. I think it's she's acting like she can't see it. Like, I'm not even going to give you the time of day. I see you, but I don't see you. I'm not going to I'm not gonna entertain your shit. Ten of Cups in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, yeah, someone here, um, it, possibly in the home, someone here was really playing on the emotions, like playing the head and the heart against each other of someone else, okay? This may have worked for a time, but it isn't working anymore. Knight of Swords. Nope, somebody's going forward with their mighty sword. They're going forward towards the King of Swords, actually, taking them head on. Not, someone, someone here is not backing down. Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah. King of Swords and Queen of Swords both coming in reverse with the Knight of Swords dividing them. Like, it's on, bitches. You want to fight? Let's go. Okay, this is going to be the specific love portion of your reading, Aries. It is platonic and romantic, okay? It stands for both. Take it as it resonates. Always take it as it resonates. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. So for those of you that um, are either wanting to work this out or for those of you that have new love, I do see that for a number of you having new love, okay? It's important to um, meet someone else's needs or at least make the effort to show them that you are trying, that you care. And this is for platonic relationships as well. One-sided friendships do not work either, okay? That's not a friend. That's a leech. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each other and every person in your life. Focus on love. Let's make sure that our decisions are coming from a loving place, that we react and act out of a place of love, that our desires are not selfish, okay? 
choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. And that's what I just said. Make sure that we are always choosing to act and react out of a place of love, even if it's love for yourself, okay? Just because you love yourself doesn't mean you're making selfish decisions, okay? You can love yourself enough to not continue to stay in toxic situations, all right? But you can also love um, and make choices out of love to handle things with tact. And you can always love someone from afar. That's really important. So if you are not sexually active or with a romantic partner, um, currently that is the end of the reading for you. If you are, what I'm going to do now is get you a couple of Kama Sutra uh, cards out here. And the reason why is because... Um, sex is very important in creating a bond and strengthening the bond. It is a very spiritual act, um, and it should be used and viewed as such, okay? So, I'm going to get you some sex positions that you may or may not want to try for the month of December. These are only suggestions, nothing more, okay? So, the half cowgirl position brings intimacy and a quick orgasm. Okay, some of you may already do this, some of you may not, some of you may have not done it in a long time. Just a suggestion, something you may want to try for the month of December. Okay, let's get one more out here for you and then we will get you a um, erotic massage technique that you may want to try. Okay, so the cowgirl technique gets her, gets her over the edge real fast. Okay, so maybe you want to start out here and uh, swivel on over to there. Who knows? Whatever, whatever, right? Just a suggestion. Many of you probably already do this. At least I hope you do. I don't know. Some of the comments I've been getting on these videos tells me it's no wonder you can't fucking keep a partner. I'm like, ew, that's gross. How the fuck do you think you got here, honey? Hmm. Hatched. You must have hatched. Anyway. So let me get you a uh, erotic massage technique out here okay why because if you uh follow me or or have personal sessions with me healing sessions readings or any of these things you know how important and how uh, firm i am on touch and uh tantra okay so let's see here feathering okay Feathering. So it gives you a little illustration there, okay? And then I'm going to read this to you, and then it's going to say how to do it. And I'm going to leave that part in the first portion of the description box in case you would like to try this for the month of December, okay? Feathering. The touch of a feather is very sensual. Try using a real one. Make it large, soft, and clean, or perhaps a long feathered boa, okay? So if you want to try that, uh, look in the description box. I'm going to tell you what they say to do. Um, that's what I have for you, Aries. I love you very much, and I'll see you next month.